Hello friends. Today topic is tray tower or plate tower. In this topic we will see what is tray tower and how it works. Then we will see operating problem in tray tower like entrainment, priming, flooding, weeping, dumping and coning. Now first let's see what is tray tower and how it works so tray towers are vertical cylinder in which liquid and gas are contacted in a stepwise fashion on trays or plates each tray in a vertical column represents a stage because on each tray the phases that are gas and liquid are brought into intimate contact then the mass is transferred from one phase to another and finally the phases are separated and leave the tray counter currently to the adjacent tray hence in the tray tower the mass transfer takes place in a stage wise now let's see the diagram of the tray tower so tray tower is a vertical column or shell which consists of the number of trays in this tower sieve trays are used the liquid enters at the top and flows downward where it flows across each tray and flow through a downspout to the tray below then the gas passes upward through the opening in the tray such that it is bubbled through the liquid to form a froth then disengages from the froth and passes on the next tray above in this way liquid flow from top to bottom across every tray via downspout and gas flows upward by bubbling through the pool of liquid and passes to the tray above hence on each tray vapor and liquid are brought into intimate contact hence in the tray tower for better operation tray efficiencies should be high so for high tray efficiencies the pool of liquid on each tray should be deep so that the bubbles of gas require a relatively long time to rise through the liquid again for high tray efficiencies gas velocity should be high because when gas bubbles slowly through the opening on the tray the bubbles are large and liquid is relatively quiescent hence much of it may even pass over the tray without having contacted the gas but when the gas velocity is relatively high it is dispersed very thoroughly into the liquid but these two conditions that is deep depth of liquid on the tray and high gas velocity leads to several operating difficulties in the tray tower now let's see the operating problem in the tray tower hence change in gas and liquid flow rate lead to several operating problems in the tray tower which is shown in figure So the first operating problem is entrainment of droplets of liquid in the rising gas stream. This operating problem occurs at a high gas velocity. So at a high gas velocity when gas bubbles through the liquid pool vigorously small droplets of the liquid will be carried by gas to the tray above. This condition is called entrainment. hence liquid carried up by gas due to entrainment reduces the concentration change 
which cause decrease in mass transfer and also affects the tray efficiency. Now next operating problem is priming. This is an exaggerated condition of entrainment. This occurs at a high gas flow rate. Hence due to the high gas flow rate, liquid from bottom trays are carried away along with the gas from one tray to the tray above up to the top tray. Due to this, foam persists throughout the space between the tray. Hence, liquid carried up by gas recirculate between the tray. Due to this, liquid handling load increases the gas pressure drop. Now next operating problem is Flooding This occurs at large liquid depth on the tray and high gas velocities. So, due to the increased rate of flow of either gas or liquid, the large pressure difference in the space between trays created. As the pressure difference increased, the liquid level in the downspout will rise which can permit the liquid to enter the lower tray and the liquid level may each to the tray above. So, further increase either flow rate, liquid fill the downspout, entire space between the trays and eventually entire column. Then the tower is flooded and tray efficiency falls to a low value. Now next operating problem is Weeping This occurs at a low gas velocity. So due to low gas velocity, most of the liquid may rain down through the opening of the tray. This condition is called weeping, which may block the path of gas flow and cannot maintain the liquid level on the tray. Now next operating problem is Dumping This occurs at a very low gas velocity and low liquid velocity. So due to very low gas velocity and low liquid velocity, none of the liquid reaches to the downspout. This condition is called dumping. Now next operating problem is Coning This occurs when the liquid flow rate too low. So due to this, gas rising through the opening of the tray may push the liquid away. This condition is called coning, which cause poorer contact between gas and liquids. So, all these are the operating problem in the tray tower, where all type of the tray tower may face some of these difficulties. So for better operation, the gas and the liquid flow rate should be maintained. So that's all about the tray tower and the operating problem in the tray tower. If you like my video, please like my video, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel.